Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Father Remy from St. Agatha and St. James Parish and the Penn and Jackson Newman Centers in Philadelphia. Let's talk about the Gospel of this coming Sunday, okay? Sunday 23rd, Gospel taken from Matthew 16. Very important Gospel because it talks about the identity of Jesus. He's praying in the wilderness with the disciples. Suddenly he turns to them and, and asks them two questions. The first question is going to be about the people. Who do people say that the Son of Man is? I want to see your perception about how other people see me. And they say, you know, Jesus, like many people don't understand you. Many people say you are a fanatic, a lunatic, a false prophet, even in contact and in conspiracy with the demons. Other people admire you and they say you are John the Baptist, risen from the dead, or Elijah, or any other prophet. Okay, so Jesus says, okay. That's the external circle, the second-hand knowledge of me. People who see me from far away, okay, sometimes admiring me. But who do you say that I am? That's the second question. And that was Jesus is going to. People who I have chosen, who I have loved so much, who we have shared so many experiences together. We have prayed together. They have seen me in my intimacy with the Father. Who do you say that I am? And that is very interesting. That question is something that I want to stop with and just ask you to ponder and meditate and grasp the power of the question. Why? Because He is the answer for everything we are and we have. Jesus, the answer for our meaning, for the, for the search for purpose and joy and peace and happiness and everlasting life. But to receive the answer, He wants to be, first of all, the questioner. The one who asks questions. Like 307 times he asks questions in the Bible. You know how many times he gives answers? Only three times. One of the most important gifts that he can give us is his, are his questions. Because he knows that in the treasure of our hearts, in the core, in the silence of our intimacy, we can see God. We can be in touch with him, with the light, with the truth, with the life. Who do you say that I am? We know that before that, Jesus asked His disciples when they were just starting to follow Him, what are you looking for when you follow Me? Or for example, when many people got scandalized and started leaving Him, and He turned and asked them, are you also going to leave Me? Or for example, um, let's say, for example, after the resurrection, He goes and asks Peter, Peter, do you love Me? There are many of those beautiful questions. He wants us to find the answer within, but in touch with Him, in friendship. So now Peter takes the voice, takes in representation of all the other apostles and says, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. What's the reaction in Jesus? There's a leap of joy in his heart and he says, Blessed are you, blessed are you. Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father... And you, Peter, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. What's the reaction of, what's the consequence of just grasping the identity of Jesus? Is that He reveals to us our identity, our true name, our true identity, which is hidden. He's telling you, you're a son of Jonah, that's your earthly name, that's your earthly identity. I'm going to show you and help you discover the gift that you are, the purpose of your existence. You are a dream that comes from the heart of God and I want to show that to you, reveal that to you. But the way that you can receive the blessing of your existence and accept the mission that you have in the future is only through receiving with humility the inspiration from the Father. The Father can tell you who I am. And then He tells you, no, you're not only Peter, the rock, which that's the meaning of Peter, but I am also going to give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. The keys are very little. With a key, you can open something which is a kingdom, a palace, something huge, like you can go to the beach house and enjoy the house, or a mountain house. So beautiful things that you can enjoy in a big house with a little key. That little key is faith. The little key is a relationship and the trust in the revelation of Christ and the immensity of the kingdom of heaven will be outpoured in your life. What does this mean? You as baptized have the key as well. When you receive the sacraments, you have access to the kingdom of heaven. 
all the blessings and the sweetness and the mercy and the consolation and transformative power of the mercy of God can be outpouring in your heart. God is with you, the angels, the saints, heaven is with you, coexistence. Why? Because He wants to build up a church. Why is so important your faith? Why is so important that you can answer to the question of who do you say I am? Because with that answer, with that little key, you can build up a family, society, people who are bounded in Jesus. And that's the fellowship of the friends of Christ who support each other like the rocks support each other in the building. Ponder on this, this question and the beauty of the answer. God bless you, my friends. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.